Hey guys, Rick Seitz here with GME FI Magazine. I'm here in Cookville, Tennessee at our friend's uh, facility, American Power Train. We're actually doing a, a six-speed swap on Project Red Rum, our 84 Trans Am project car. Um, we haven't put the motor in yet, the LS, LS3416. However, we are just getting mocked up. That way, the six-speed will bolt up to a you know, traditional small block Chevy as well as an LS motor. Um, right now, we're going to do some test fitting stuff. We have the original transmission out of it. It's a factory five-speed car, but we pulled that already. Yeah, we're kind of just getting everything laid out for the, uh, the six-speed install. I'll give a quick tour real quick. I'm to flip so you can see what's going on. So here we are. Got the powertrain. Pretty big shop. Actually, they just uh, moved in here a few weeks back. Here's our car right here. Up on the rack. Check it out. Uh, let's see. There's our rim. Drive shaft's out. Torque arm's out. Transmission is out, clutch is out, flywheel is out. We still have to clean up the uh, the crank from the original engine. It's still a 305. When we get back home to Ohio, we're going to pull the motor out of this too. But for right now, we're going to mock up the uh, the 6B2, the small block Chevy, just for fitment issues. And uh, that way, it's a uh, that way help American Powertrain market a 6B kit for these cars. Right now, they don't offer a 6B kit for a third gen F body, only fifth, uh, only a five speed. So as we Sort of mock everything up. I see here's a new clutch. So that's a new clutch and throttle, all the accessories, all the hardware that goes with it. So we're actually kind of just taking some product shots, glamour images, but right now that's what we're working with. Transmission's out, that's it right there. That's original five speed, it was shot. Check, look at this. I don't know if you can tell. Well, you can tell. That's moving. So that shot, and this is pretty hammered too. So all the, uh, the innards are pounded. Shifter's weak. That's staying. We're going to leave this here for the uh, American Powertrain guys for some R&D stuff later on. I have no interest in that transmission. However, I'm going to show you the bell housing. There's the old, the old bell housing, the clutch, the flywheel, the shield. The strange drive shaft that we already had in the car. Is our BMR torque arm and cross member. We're going to test fit a few different cross members. We're going to use this one from BMR. We also have a uh, we also have a Hawks cross member. We also have a Holly cross member. We're using the test fit just for R and D purposes. Um, once we get it uh, straightened out here, we get back to work here in a few minutes. We'll hammer this out. But, uh, that, sorry. So that's what we're working with right now. It's really hot here. It's probably about 100 degrees. And I'm wearing jeans, so, so it's it's really uh really warm here. But right now we're actually gonna create here. Let me I'll show you. It's, show you what it looks like inside. Clutches and transmissions, as far as the eye can see. Yeah. There's the car. When we arrived this morning, they had a, uh, a 65, 66 uh, notchback Mustang. And the, the old Milwaukee uh, Chevy C10, that's an LS swap that they took on Power Tour. But uh, they had to move all those cars out so we can get our Trans Am in. See? They also have a sister company that specializes in five speed conversions for uh, classic European cars, like that SL. I love this E Type right here. But these cars will be leaving pretty soon. Check this uh, fastback. I know you GM guys are probably going to care less, but here's a five speed first. Five speed or a fastback uh, first gen Mustang, kind of just sitting here collecting dust. It's gonna be a big project car for them. But yeah, that's where we're at. So we're hoping to have this done today. We could, we could have it done today, but it's not gonna work that way because we have some video planned. So we'll sh we should get this all mocked up and in installed and wrapped up tomorrow, and we'll be hitting the road. Till then. Till then, I'll see you guys uh, next time. I keep you uh, keep you posted on the updates and uh, what we have uh, going on with this car. Talk to you soon.